up everyone welcome back to my channel or if you new welcome to the channel it's your girl colors and here i am with yet another bump date today's bump date is going to be about my 17th week of pregnancy so if you are interested in hearing about my pregnancy signs symptoms and everything else that's going on in my life <laughs> please keep on watching so jumping right into it, one of the first things I noticed in my week 17 is that my boobs were getting a little bigger. I mean, I guess ain't really nothing else to say about that. I mean, they got bigger, child. I ain't even notice it um, because I don't really pay attention to my boobs like that, to be honest. But you know, my um, husband was deciding to do a grab test and wanted to touch them. And he was like, you got some weight on them things. And I was like, thank you he even made me get up and go in the mirror and was like look at them they're way bigger do you still want a boob job and i said as long as they stay like this then no but how i'm feeling right now i can really care less about whether or not later i'm gonna get a boob job or whatever the case may be right now it's the least of my concerns and we'll just cross that bridge when we get there <laughs> another thing that i have noticed is that i have less of the acid reflex I used to have it a lot to where like every few minutes or when I'm talking, I would just have that little burp like, you know, and just be very like gassy, but I still have them, don't get me wrong, but it's just not as bad. So maybe eventually that will go away. The next thing I've noticed that is really, really getting annoying is that I am getting super lazy, like super lazy. like. I had an idea of what I wanted to wear today and it wasn't this and at this point I could care less about what I'm wearing as long as these videos get out and my face is kind of beat we in that child <laughs> but I noticed that I have gotten super lazy and I guess this goes into another one which is what I talked about last week is that I'm getting less energy that energy level is getting real like i noticed that we have went grocery shopping and while in the store i was probably standing maybe all of like five minutes five to seven minutes maybe and then i needed to grab a cart to lean on generally when i go to the grocery store i never push the cart like that is david's job he pushes the cart and i put food in it that that's just how it goes and then that still became too much and then i have to get like the electric scooter thing and sit down and shop like that and this part is not really laziness it's more so of i just feel everything being drained back starts to hurt i start to cramp and i just can't and it's kind of scary because i'm like i am very inactive compared to what i used to be i'm hoping that turns around because that ain't the best for the baby i think what i'm going to start to do is swim at least once or twice a week i am not a person that tries to get nobody's water but i think that's the only way i can have enough energy to do anything so the next thing i have on my list is that constipation is somewhat better now but it wasn't always this week was very um it was kind of very hard actually i ha actually had a uh emergency appointment at the doctor's but pretty much what happened was that i called them because i was having a lot of uh pelvic cramps now this is something i always talked about but my pains were getting really really bad and it was getting hard to sit down it was getting hard to do anything which led into why i think it was hard for me like going grocery shopping and stuff like that because the standing too long the sitting too long everything was kind of hurting and i wasn't sure if this was because of constipation or if it was something else that was going on with the baby but i ended up telling them about that they told me to come in and then i booked it over there to be honest we're gonna just have a little moment outside of the necessary bump date thing what ended up happening at the appointment was that they pretty much told me i was pregnant and that really bothered me it made me sad and frustrated because even though this is my first pregnancy i hate when people like especially with doctors they love to fast talk you they love to cut you off and make you feel like what you were thinking is just like insane and, and that was kind of what was happening like i was telling them what my issues was and you know at this time i, I didn't have a bowel movement in over a month like 
and that is dangerous. I kind of was throwing out things to the doctor and I was like, hey, so why am I having such pain? I don't feel like this is a ligament pain because it was like striking. And I was having a lot of spasms. If I could rate the pain, the pain was like an eight. It was like four days in a row, like an eight. <laughs> and that was what made me call them. And I don't like to call them for no reason because generally, you know, I, I made comments about this before. If you're new to my channel, I am a person that generally gets sick. And I am also a person that they can't figure out why or what the problems are. So they'll just be like, oh, there's nothing wrong with her. Give her Tylenol. And then I'll be like throwing up and losing all this weight and having all these migraines and stuff. And they don't know what the problem is. They're just like, oh, she's just sick. So I just kind of felt like this was that. I felt like the doctor was just like, oh no, you're just pregnant. I'm so sorry to tell you, but you're pregnant. And I'm just like, duh, I know that. Like, don't tell me I'm pregnant, I know that. But he, was, he checked my cervix and my cervix was completely closed. And then, which also kind of gave me, like I felt a little bit of a way low key because mind you, this is another different doctor. You generally, when it comes to male doctors and I personally didn't care a lot about this, but I know that is not necessarily protocol. Generally, when you have a male doctor in your room, you have to have a female assistant because, you know, regulations, laws, stuff like that, anything happened, he said, she said, blah, blah, blah. And he was just like, okay, open your legs. The assistant wasn't in yet. He was getting ready to like, <laughs> go hands deep into my vagina and then at the last minute the assistant came in and just kind of like you know watched basically at the last second i'm just like even though i'm not a person who's afraid of male doctors it was just kind of like dang like i know protocol like you're not even trying to wait for the assistant most of the time male doctors won't even come in your room unless the female assistant is there so he checked my cervix you know he was like oh well your cervix is completely closed so that's not your problem i'm looking at you know you do have some discharge or whatever you don't have a uti so ultimately it just looks like you're pregnant and i'm just like okay well could it be, have been like early contractions and he was like well generally if you have early contractions it wouldn't be like in your back and pelvis and the areas that you're saying that you're having the pain and i'm like okay well could it be this and he's like no because it wouldn't generally be in that area you're telling me what it's not <laughs> but you're not trying to help me figure out the source that was really really frustrating i felt like there could have been a way if if what he was telling me was the facts that he knows I felt like there was a way to communicate with me to make me feel confident in his response that oh okay well maybe i'm just pregnant but the way he was responding and how fast he was responding made me feel like a number which in turn made me dislike the idea even more about having hospital birth because if you've seen our q a video we on and off have talked about the idea of mostly going hospital and 20% going natural. And when these type things happen, it makes me feel more and more inclined to want to go natural. So yeah, basically I say all that to basically say one, <laughs> that this whole doctor patient relationship, I, I just really, really have a love hate for it. And it just makes me even more fond of the idea of natural because I feel like sometimes doctors just do things that is going to benefit more them than the patient. I don't know. That was my experience in my emergency ultrasound. Ultimately, nothing has gotten solved. The pain did um, kind of go away. It's on and off. But the constipation aspect of it starting to get slightly better. I'll have one movement uh, like every other day since I've really been trying to stay on top of the mirror lats and um, prunes, which are disgusting by the way, I think it somewhat might be working. So fingers crossed on that. <laughs> the next thing is that I am starting to put on some weight. Since my last bump day, I have gained three pounds, which is cool. I have started to uh, get a little bit of an appetite now. Haven't been throwing up or none of that. Throwing up is Thank God. But I've been eating pickles, pasta. I have finally eaten a steak. And I'm really proud of myself because I haven't eaten a steak in like a couple of months. And I'm like so excited about that. And I've been having a lot of mixed vegetables. And 
the frozen pizza so that has been the food of the week and i guess it's been working child because i have gained three pounds the next thing that happened this week is that i did buy a baby doppler let me show you the one i bought Woo! who i'm spilling this i had to go get me a pizza So this is actually the fetal doppler that I got. It's called a pocket fetal doppler, I guess. This is what it looks like. So I bought this, it came a few days ago. I'm not gonna lie, I did try to test this out, but uh, I was not successful at it. And then I wanted to create a video on me trying to find it. And I feel like I'm close, but this thing is harder than it looks. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to wait until we can try to create a video out of it and trying to find my little fetus. I did buy this off of eBay because I buy a lot of stuff off of eBay because it's cheaper and I hate paying for shipping. So that is just the power button and you can probably hear a little sound. It is ready to be used. So it, it does take like I think AA batteries. This is the three hertz I think it is. I haven't really played with this too too much because there is mixed reviews on things like trying to find your baby's feet it is too long and stuff like that i actually been told that there is no radiation associated with these things but a lot of people feel so i haven't done enough research to figure out if that is true or not but i just tried to wait maybe another week or so before uh no probably not even a week because i actually have my 20 week scan next monday i believe so i don't want to double up on this without doing my research so i'll just go ahead and wait and do the scan there and that's when we'll finally get the results of the gender. We won't actually find out there because we have decided to do a mini gender reveal function. So that will be happening at our house on the 20th. So I will be filming that. Next thing, which is annoying, but the next thing that happened this week or during the week even up to now, I have not felt baby Isaac move which is not too bad but somewhat a bummer because I know baby Isaac's fine because when I did have my emergency appointment we did hear the heartbeat and the heartbeat was fine but um I'm just not feeling the baby move so that has kind of been a bummer I haven't felt it since I think my 16 week I guess it would come soon I'm not gonna put too much pressure on myself I have enough to worry about child <laughs> oh <laughs> Six, child. <laughs> um, there's been improvement. Yeah, I mean, still ain't the life that I'm trying to live right now, but it ain't too bad. You know what I'm saying? Like, since it's starting to not be too bad of a thought, of a situation. But, you know, I just think I don't want to be touched right now. I think that's what it is. Before, it was like, no, okay, it's painful, no, get away, whatever. But I am approving, and I'm trying my best to make my husband happy. And I think I'm I'm slightly getting there. It's one step at a time. It's growth, people. If there's growth. I think that's going to be it for everything that's going on with me and my feelings, my emotion, and everything that's going on with my life this week. So I think it's time to measure the belly. Now, I'm not going to move this camera all the way up, so I'm going to try to stand up on my knees, and let's hope we get the belly shot that we need. <laughs> oh, Lord. I do feel like baby eyes has gotten a little round, but I, I don't feel like it got a bit bigger. But like I said before, y'all got to tell me. So let me give you the belly shots first. So this is what I'm saying. I feel like it got round. I feel like this is the same. It's kind of hard, child. Ooh, maybe because I just ate. I don't know. I feel like this part has gotten more even to this part. So, yep. Let's turn to the side. So before it was kind of like a clear indention here, but now I feel like it's it's about to bloop around. Let's get some measuring tape out. I wonder if this got any bigger. If my stomach ashy, I'm so sorry about it. And I did try to shave my stomach hair. So if you see some, I'm sorry, I missed it. So ultimately, Is this right? Hopefully I'm measuring this right. Oh, 
Oh Lord, I might be tripping. Look at this measuring tape. This is disrespectful. Um, I might have grown some inch, uh, half an inch, child. It say 38. Last time I think it was 37 and a half. You do do the bottom part, right? See, when I bend to look at it, I think I'm changing things. No, I mean, this is 37 and a half. Y'all see that? Can y'all see? So I'm gonna say that it is a little over 37 and a half because most of the time when I looked at the measurement, it was less than 38 inches. So I'm gonna say it's a little over 37 and a half inches. So I guess we can go into talking about more of baby. Baby is the size of an orange. I did read something that said it can fit in the palm of your hand. Baby can make out flavor, which is really cool and weird at the same time because what are you eating like you're eating what i'm eating of course but like how does that work like you having taste buds but you're not necessarily taking in everything with your mouth so this baby is the same size of its placenta another thing it said is that it's forming roughly its first bowel movement which is a really weird thing to notice but <laughs> which is usually the Maconia? Maconia? Usually what the baby's first poop is. So I guess it's forming that and it's bowel moving it and saving it for me, child. I guess. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, that is what's going on with baby. Yeah, so I guess that's going to be all for this particular video. If you haven't already, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you guys in the next one. Oh,